What's going on, y'all? Welcome to today's video. And um, on today, I'm playing the Ewe. You know what? I am going to just turn it down a little bit. So cool. We'll keep that in the background. And I know there is a lot of noise. That's what happened when I plug up the Ewe. But I am Kwaman Fowler coming to you today. We're going to explore some lines. Um, that you can use over a seventh chord and um, yeah I am really getting uh, prepared for our next ewe workshop our workshop is going to be on the 26th which is next Friday uh, it's going to be done via zoom with me and my man D Anthony ewe McGee who has been uh, recently on Doing a lot of shows with Bobby Sparks, phenomenal uh, keyboardist, Moog, the organ player, all of that, producer, songwriter in our area. And so um, he's been doing some gigs with him. And of course, people have heard him on the Ewe. He was a student of mine uh, back in the day, but has definitely flourished and um, has been phenomenal on that Ewe. So he's going to be joining me. We're going to do our uh, workshop. And so I thought it'd be good to um, go ahead and start doing some videos and uh, going over the, the Ewe. But on today, I'm going to focus on playing these lines uh, over a seventh chord. So, all right. So the thing that makes it challenging right now is cold. Uh, so the Ewe responds by, um, it's touch sensitive. So that means, you know, if it's, if your hands are cold, then it's not going to respond the best. So bear with me if uh, you hear some bad notes. It's most likely because uh, the the <laughs> you know the keys aren't picking up my fingers because it's cold. So, uh, but anyway, I wanted to uh, welcome those who are live checking checking it out. What's going on, Troy? How you doing? Uh, 
Yes, I am doing well. So I see you in the chat. If you're in the chat, I can see the messages there. So thank you. Show me some love. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up if you're out there viewing. And uh, and you're hearing me okay, okay? All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit. We got a groove right here. So... No, I like to practice with Drum Genius because it helps practice the technical stuff and make it a lot more engaging and fun, right? Because I'm interacting off of that groove. So one of the things I'll do, I'll work with uh, the octave key rollers in the back just to get used to uh, that. And of course, I'm trying to uh, warm up. So I got my heat on in here, so I got to get my thumb responding and also my fingertips need to be warm so and then you got to get acclimated to the ewe itself all right from going from saxophone all right so here we go <laughs> So, when I do the octave rollers at the bot at the back, I'm trying to get everything moving and hitting, you know, in the groove in the right spots. Those are arpeggios in A7. So we're in A7. So those are just some lines. Yeah, so I'm just playing some lines in time. So you have to be really even on the iwi. Like your fingers have to be precise when you hit those keys. All right. 